Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scaretubofoo here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare Vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Bushmaster. The Bushmaster is a protected mobility vehicle or infantry mobility vehicle. It is Australian built and a four wheel drive armored vehicle. The Bushmaster was primarily designed by the then government owned Australian Defense Industries ADI and is currently produced by Thales Australia with, this, with a support contract provided by Oshkosh Truck following the acquisition of ADI. The Bushmaster is currently in service with the Australian Army, Royal Australian Air Force, Royal Netherlands Army, British Army Japan Ground Self Defense Force, Fiji Infantry Regiment, Jamaica Defense Force, and the New Zealand Army. The role of the Bushmaster is to provide protected mobility transport. Uh, with infantry dismounting from the vehicle before going into action. As the Bushmaster is only lightly armored, the term Infantry Mobility Vehicle IMV was initially adopted to distinguish it from the heavier wheeled or tracked armored personnel carriers such as the uh, ASLAV and also the M113, also in Australian service. Uh, later the uh, Bushmaster designation was changed to Protected Mobility Vehicle PMV. So uh, overall this vehicle is a really awesome looking uh, uh, vehicle one of my, probably my favorite kind of armored trucks or anything like that really out there it just has a very distinct look to it and just a very australian feel to say the very least i think it looks absolutely absolutely awesome and is a really cool looking truck uh it's been a while since we've done a australian themed tutorial so it's nice to come back and uh revisit some you know awesome australian vehicles and stuff like that um so this is a you know awesome design to come back and revisit uh, so the Bushmaster you can see in front of you obviously has a camo scheme on it as I saw with most pictures with the Bushmaster Bushmaster doing my uh, uh, Do my uh, research and all that stuff for pictures and reference and all that stuff for building it uh, I noticed a lot of them were colored in a black green and kind of tan camouflage So I decided to go ahead and replicate that over here to this build and I definitely think it really makes the vehicle pop uh, with the you know camouflage camouflage patterns you can never go wrong with they always look nice uh, and so it looks really good. Obviously you can build it without, you can build it with, whatever you want to do. Uh, I'll be covering how to do it without and how to do it with so you guys can obviously go crazy and do whatever camouflage you want for it. Uh, but anyways, going ahead and diving in and take a look at the build that we're going to be building. Uh, obviously, starting off in the front here, uh, very standard. You got the front headlights, the front kind of grill, all that kind of stuff. I saw some that also had like this kind of like almost, I don't worry if you want to say a kind of like a, it's not a ram bar, but like a, I don't know, basically one of those bars that kind of go, bar systems that go across there for extra protection in the front. I don't really want to say it was one of those, but it uh, kind of looked like it. I don't know. It was, some of them had it, so I decided to go ahead and include it because it made the front look a little bit more beefier in my opinion. Obviously, it can be removed if you don't want it. Uh, we then have the cab here, so obviously driver, passenger, um, all the details, side mirrors, all that kind of stuff. On top, we have three machine guns. So we have one machine gun in the front, which I decided to go ahead and use as a 50 cal, and then we have two, like, 7 point 62 millimeter machine guns directly behind them um, two back here and a lot of Bushmasters did have this kind of configuration though There are some that actually have our remote control turret as well on it So you're kind of uh, open there to you know do whatever you want you can obviously change it um, And feel free to uh, lots of compartments stuff like that along the sides here The left side is a little bit different as you can see from the right side So it's got some different stuff kind of going on here But for the most part they're pretty much the same two spare tires on the back a door here for the infantry to dismount and a little step that it has for the infantry to actually be able to get in and out easier. Uh, overall, it's a really nice looking vehicle, and uh, I'm really happy the way it came out. Hopefully, you guys can enjoy it as well. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting with our first layer, layer one. All right, guys, so going ahead and start off with our first layer, we're going to be moving on to layer one. Now, when we start this tutorial, and we pretty much work our way throughout the entire thing, for the main body, we're going to be going ahead and using a sandstone uh, color palette. So it's just going to be completely tan. Uh, and then we're going to go back at the end and add the camouflage. If you want to do it alongside when we're building it, you can feel free to do that. I just think it's a little bit easier at the end to add the camouflage. But that's completely up to you guys. Um, but anyways, just to let you know, we're going to be building it all in tan first. And then we'll be covering the camouflage at the end. So to start off with, we're going to need to go ahead and start with our tires. So we're going to place down two narrow brick stairs upside down, back to back to each other. This is going to be the left front wheel. We're going to go ahead and go from the uh, narrow brick stair right here. We're going to go ahead and go three over to the side of stone brick top slabs. And another narrow brick upside down stair with an upside down stair coming off the back of it. So we have basically our left front and right front wheels. We should get something that looks just like that. Once that's done, we're going to go back from the stone brick top slab in the middle here. We're going to go back one, two, three, four, five, and six blocks back. We're then going to place down a narrow stone brick top slab, followed by one out to both sides. 
and just copy what we did for the front axle there, narrow brick up and down stair, one stair right behind it, same thing over here on this side, like that, and then the space in between them, the, the stone brick top subs, if you place down blocks, we can just go and delete those. Those are just visually there to uh, be able to count it and all that fun stuff. Uh, on the back here, we're going to go and place down a magenta wool, or just a wool block, kind of the placeholder block coming off the stone brick top sub. We're then going to place down a wooden trap door. Going back from the wooden trap door, we're going to place down one more that goes back, followed by one and two to the side, and then one more that goes forward. So you get something that looks like that for the back here, and that's a little step for the infantry on the back. And you could even uh, add a little bit more to it if you want to maybe, you know, have like a little, have it like blacked out or something like that. I mean, you can do that. Uh, that's totally something you could do. Um, so you can black out the top there uh, to kind of make it look a little more step and that kind of looks a little bit better. So you can do that. And um, anyways, that's going to, do to, going to do it for layer one. With that, let's move on to layer two. All right, guys, moving on to layer two. For layer two to start off with, we're going to place down two narrow brick stairs back to back on top of the two narrow brick ups and down stairs, all from the previous layer. This is going to go ahead and complete our four wheels and uh, will give us uh, basically all four wheels. So you should get something that kind of looks like that. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go to our uh, rows of three of stone brick top subs. On the middle top subs, we're going to place down an anvil. And then to the ones to the sides, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall on both sides. So you kind of have the uh, connecting piece to the uh, chassis. And then you have the shocks here on both sides, or what are meant to represent the shocks. Um, actually, one thing we could do to kind of make this look a little bit better, because uh, I've kind of... Uh, you know, had to go back and update this style just a little bit. One thing I forgot to do was actually swap out the bottom of these anvils. Uh, so the stone brick tops in the middle here for iron trap doors. It's kind of a new design I've been going with on these vehicles as it looks a little bit better. Um, so go ahead and feel free to make that quick change there. It looks a little bit better overall. Anyways, going ahead and continuing on. Once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and go to the front section here. And we want to go ahead and place down a row of three of smooth sandstone blocks in between these uh, narrow brick uh, stairs. After that's done, we're going to place down a sandstone upside down stair coming off the middle smooth sandstone block, followed by a sandstone upside down corner stair coming off of both sides of that sandstone upside down stair. Coming off the faces here of the two stone brick or sandstone corner stairs, we're going to place down a stone brick top side on both sides, and in the space in between, we want to grab ourselves an end rod and place down an end rod in between them like that. Working our way back, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of smooth sandstone across. Uh, or sorry, my bad, this is actually going to be a row of five of smooth sandstone across. So just like this, we're also going to go ahead and need to grab ourselves a stone button, and we're going to place down a stone button on both ends. Now one thing we got to be aware of is that we will have a little bit of a difference on the sides here, uh, which isn't anything major, but I just want to go ahead and throw that out there that, uh, actually, no, you know what, they're actually the same. So my bad, don't even completely disregard what I just said. Anyways, we're then going to place down another row of five of smooth sandstone blocks across, followed by again a stone button on both ends. When we get to this section right here, where we're going to want to grab black wool, place down a row of three of black wool across the middle, followed by a sandstone stair, like this on both sides. Continuing on, we're then going to place down another row of three of, or sorry, row of five of smooth sandstone across. Again, a stone button on both sides. We're then going to place down two rows of three of smooth sandstone blocks down the middle, like this. We're going to go ahead and go to the sides, and we want to go ahead and grab ourselves birchwood planks and place down two birchwood planks, followed by two tripwire hooks on the sides. Same thing over here, one and two, and our trip bar hooks like that on the side. With that all done, going back to this section here, we're going to take our smooth sandstone block, place it down coming off this anvil. We're then going to place down a sandstone up sandstone stair on both sides of the smooth sandstone block. So like this, so you can kind of see part of the shock there, or the cobblestone wall there. Uh, then on the back here, we're just going to place down a row of three of sandstone up sandstone stairs across. So the two on the sides are going to be corner stairs, and the one stair in the middle is going to be a normal stair. Uh, we then want to grab ourselves a wooden trap door and a black banner. We're going to place down a wooden trap door coming off these two narrow brick stairs here on both sides and then a uh, black banner like that coming off the wooden trap door for the mud flaps. Once that's all done there, that is going to do it for layer number two. With that, we can move on to layer three. Alrighty guys, moving on to our next layer. We have layer number three. For layer three to begin with, we're going to go to the front here. We're going to place down a cobblestone wall on these two sandstone top sabs, followed by a sandstone top sab in between those cobblestone walls. Coming off the cobblestone uh, top sab here, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull going toward the front. After that, uh, going ahead and coming off of the uh, coming off of the uh, sandstone top sab, we're going to place down a black wool block, followed by a smooth sandstone block to both sides of it. Or actually, my bad, this can be a sandstone upside down stair to both sides. So we're going to place down a sandstone upside down stair like this to both sides of come off that black wool block. We then want to place down a nether uh, sandstone stair. This time it's going to be a regular stair that's kind of coming off this stair here uh, with its front facing toward the 
back. And same thing over here. So you get something that kind of looks like that from the front here that you're looking at the back of the stair. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some glass and also some item frames. Now, uh, for this, we're going to do the front headlights. So we're going to place down an item frame on the back of the stair, followed by a glass block in the item frame. Same thing over here. And then we also want to go ahead and grab a sign and place down a sign on the back of the sandstone stair as well to create the front headlights. Once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and continue on by placing down a row of three of smooth sandstone across, followed by a sandstone upside down stair here. Uh, on both sides. We also want to go ahead and go to this sandstone stair here that has the headlight attached to it. We're going to place down a sign on the sides here uh, like that. Uh, once that's done, we're going to place down a row of three of smooth sandstone across the middle here, followed by a sandstone top slab on both sides. Once that's done, we're going to place down a row of five of smooth sandstone across, followed by a second row of five. And on the sides here of these sandstone smooth sandstone blocks, we're going to go ahead and place down signs like this along the side. Once we have uh, that done, we do have a little bit of a difference here, so we're going to go ahead and kind of cover that real quick here. So over here on the left side, we're going to place down a stone brick stair like this, followed by an anvil right behind it. And then right behind these blocks here, we're going to place down two black wool blocks. Over here on the other side, we can just go and take smooth sandstone blocks, place down one and two back. And of course, take our signs and place down our signs along those smooth sandstone blocks. In the space in between them, we can just go ahead and take our smooth sandstone, fill it in like so to have that space completely filled in like that. Now, once that's all done, uh, we're gonna go ahead and go back to both sides being the same here. So we're gonna go and take our birchwood planks. We're gonna place down one and two, and one and two on the sides, and then the space in between, two rows of three of smooth sandstone. We also wanna go and take some signs, and on the sides of these birchwood planks, we're gonna place down signs here on the sides of them. Once that's done, we're gonna place down a row of three of smooth sandstone across, sandstone up, down, stair on both sides. Uh, we then want to place down a narrow row of three smooth sandstone across the middle here, followed by again a sandstone top slab on both ends. When we get back to this point, or actually my bad, this is going to be another sandstone upside down stair, so my bad on that one. So let me just go ahead and fix this real quick. So a sandstone upside down stair, like that, with its front kind of facing the other stair like so. Once that's all done there, we're going to go and place down a row of three of birchwood planks. That's going to go across the middle space right there. We then want to place down a sandstone uh, upside down stair that's coming off this one like this so it turns this stair into a corner stair then you have the upside down stair same thing over here just like that on the side of this or on the front here of this sandstone stair we're going to place down a sign on both sides and we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a item frame again and we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves a red stained glass block we're going to place down an item frame on the side here of these two stairs red stained glass block in it for the brake lights and a sign uh, that's going to go over it like that by placing it on the sandstone stair uh, then on the back here to kind of wrap this up, we're going to place down a stone bun over here on the right side and a lever facing upward over here on the left side for the back door. With that all done, that is going to do it for layer number three. With that, let's move on to layer number four. Alrighty guys, move on to our next layer. We move on to layer number four. For layer four, we're going to start off by placing down a black wool block on top of this one right here, followed by a ladder coming off the black wool block toward the front. We then want to place down a smooth sandstone block to both sides of this black wool block. Over here on the left side of the vehicle, so over here on this side, we're going to place down a uh, trip bar hook. And then over here on this move stand, stone block, we're going to place down a stone uh, button like that. We then want to place down a stone slab to both sides, like so. Going back from this, we're going to place down a row of three of smooth sandstone across the middle space, followed by a sandstone stair like this on both sides. With that done, we're going to place down another row of three of smooth sandstone across the middle, followed by again a sandstone stair like this on both sides. This time it's going to face a different direction, so we have a corner stair, a regular stair on that, like that on the side, so you get something that looks like that. Uh, when that's all done, we're going to go and take our quartz stairs. We're going to place down one and two quartz stairs back. Same thing over here, one and two quartz stairs back, just like that. Uh, when we get to this point, we have another difference here on what we have on either side. So over here on the left side we're going to place down a sandstone stair like this followed by a cobblestone wall right behind the cobblestone wall we're going to place down a black wool block also behind the sandstone stair here we're going to place down one two and three smooth sandstone blocks over to the side and then uh come off this black wool block we're going to place down one and two smooth sandstone blocks to the side there we then want to go ahead and go to the side we're going to place down two sandstone stairs over here on the right side so you can see that we have a difference obviously clearly on both sides here so make sure that that is correct anyways once that's done there we're going to go ahead and take our sandstone or birchwood stairs my bad we're gonna place down two birchwood stairs that go back like this and on the first stair we're gonna go and place down a sign that comes off of it and only on the first stair so same thing over here like so and in the space in between the stairs we can just go and place down two rows of three of smooth sandstone to fill it in 
We then want to place down a narrow row three of smooth sandstone across, followed by a sandstone stair on both sides. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a brick slab. We're going to place down a brick slab on both sides like this. And a row of three of smooth sandstone blocks across the middle. Uh, when we get to this uh, backspace back here, we're going to place down a birchwood, or sorry, a snow, or sorry, a quartz block in the middle here, followed by a birchwood plank to both sides of it. We're going to place down a lever on the left birchwood plank and uh, flick it down so it's connected up to this one right here. And over here to the right side on this birchwood plank, we're going to place down a stone button. We then want to go ahead and place down a brick upside down stair like this. Uh, coming off the, or, or, sorry, another brick, yeah. Uh, upside down stair coming off this birchwood plank to the side and another one coming off the back of it. Same thing over here. To go ahead and create the first half of the spare tire located on the back. Uh, once that's uh, done, that is going to do it for layer number uh, four. With that, let's go ahead and move on to layer number five. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five to begin with, we're going to place down a wooden trap door on top of this black wool block, followed by one and two more wooden trap doors that go back. On both sides here, on these smooth sandstone blocks, we're going to place down a stone button to both sides. Over here on the left side, we're going to place down a sandstone slab, followed by a wooden trap door. And over here on the right side, we're going to place down two wooden trap doors that go back like that. When that's all done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves like race stained glass blocks. We're going to place down a row of three, coming off these three wooden trap doors. And then out to the sides here, we're going to place down an additional one and two like raised stained glass panes. Same thing over here, one and two like raised stained glass panes. Now on the first pane on the side of it, we're going to place down a sign. So it's going to be like that. And then we also want to go ahead and place down a sign on the other side of this pane as well, like so. Oops, my bad. Uh, when that's all done, we're going to place down a narrow row of three of like raised stained glass blocks that go across like that. When that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a black wool block. We're going to place down a row of three of black wool across. We're then going to place down a ladder on both ends on that black wool block. After that's done, we're going to place down a row of three of smooth sandstone across. It's going to be the same thing here on both sides. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves wither skeleton heads and place down a wither skeleton head on both sides um, of this row of three of smooth sandstone. We then want to go ahead and place down a light gray stained glass block, or basically a row of three of light gray stained glass blocks across. We then uh, can place down a smooth sandstone block on both sides, leaving a space there in the middle. Uh, continuing on, we can place down another light gray stained glass block, or another row of three across, and um, then we can do another sand smooth sandstone block here on both sides, leaving the middle space open. Or you can put down light gray stained glass uh, in that space anyway, it doesn't really matter, you can do whatever you want there. Um, or you can just leave this hole open in the middle here, but uh, we're just going to fill it in just for the sake of uh, filling it in. On the back here, we're going to place down another light gray stained glass block on top of this quartz full block, followed by a birchwood plank to both sides. Coming off these two birchwood planks toward the back, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull like that, coming off those two planks. We then want to place down a uh, two narrow brick stairs back to back on top of the two upside down stairs for the spare tires on the back here. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, wither skeleton skull on these two smooth sandstone blocks like that on both sides on the end here. Also optional, you can kind of put a red hardened stained clay block on this, uh, instead of this uh, sandstone, smooth sandstone block, uh, just to kind of represent like, kind of like a red, red kangaroo some of the Bushmasters had, but again, that's kind of up to, up to you guys if you want to add that. Uh, we'll just throw it in there to add a little bit more color to our uh, vehicle. Anyways, that right there is going to do it for layer number five. With that, let's move on to layer six. Alrighty guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number 6. For layer 6, we're going to start off by placing down a wither skeleton skull that's going to be at a slight kind of 30 degree angle on these uh, light gray stained glass panes to the very sides here. You don't want them sharply angled, but you want to make sure that they're about at the same angle to make them look right, uh, but that's going to be part of the side mirrors here like that to both sides. We then want to place down another brick fence post on the second light gray stained glass paint in, so another brick fence post on both sides like that. Once that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and then take our light gray or narrow brick slabs. We're going to place down a row of three of uh, narrow brick slabs across the second row of three of light gray stained glass full blocks. We then want to place down a sandstone stair like this, come off the middle slab, followed by a sandstone slab to both sides of that stair. After that's done, we're going to place down a birchwood plank here in the middle, followed by again a sandstone stair if it's back to the stair or back to the plank here on both sides. Coming off these uh, sandstone stairs, we're going to place down a, birch, or a sandstone slab back, followed by a sandstone stair coming off this uh, side of the birchwood plank. We then also want to go ahead and go to these um, wither skeleton skulls on the side here. We're going to place down an end rod on both sides for the start of our radio antennas. Once that's done, we're going to place down two rows of three of sandstone slabs going back. 
When we get back to this section here, we're going to place down a birch wood slab on the two smooth sandstone blocks on both sides and a sandstone slab here in the middle. We then want to place down a sandstone stair like this on both sides, followed by a sandstone slab in the middle of those two sandstone stairs. Make sure that the stair front is facing toward the rear and the back of the stairs facing toward the front. Uh, we also want to go ahead and just go to the right side and right side only with our skeleton skull. We're going to place down an iron bar on top of that for, again, the radio antennas. Uh, once that's all done, that's going to do it for layer 6. With that, we're going to move on to our last final layers, which are going to be layers uh, 7, 8, 9, and 10. We're going to put the top of the uh, radio antennas on and also put the machine gun mounts on and uh, pretty much wrap up the build uh, and move on to the uh, camouflage after that. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to our last final layers. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and move on to our last final layers. To begin with, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down two narrow brick fence posts, so one on top of uh, each of these uh, narrow brick fence posts that we placed in the previous layer. Once that's done, we want to go ahead and go to our iron bars, and we want to go ahead and place down an additional one, two, three, and four more iron bars that go up from them to complete the radio antennas. So, same thing over here, one, two, three, and four. This is going to give you a total of five iron bars going up from the wither skeleton skull. So again, uh, one, two three and four up once that's all done it's time to put the machine guns on so starting off with the front machine gun we're gonna place down a anvil on top of this sandstone stair coming off the uh, anvil toward the front we're gonna place down a nether brick upside down stair followed by two end rods coming off the front of the stair we then want to place down a sign on the right side of the anvil we're going to go ahead and also grab ourselves a dark oak fence gate and place down a dark oak fence gate opened up toward the anvil on the back here Coming off the narrow brick uh, upside down stair, we're going to place down a sandstone top slab to the side. And then on top here, we're just going to place down a redstone comparator, uh, just like that on top. Once that's done for our back machine guns here, we're going to place down an anvil on top of this sandstone upside down, or regular stair. We then want to place down a narrow brick upside down stair, stair coming off the anvil toward the back, followed by an end rod. On the left side of the narrow brick stair, we're going to place down a uh, wither skeleton skull. We then want to go ahead and place down a dark oak fence gate on the back here on top of this birchwood slab opened up toward the anvil and on the inside here we're going to place down a sign that comes off the side of this anvil like so and then on top of the uh, narrow break upside down stair we're going to place down a narrow redstone comparator uh, looking just like that. Then we're going to go ahead and duplicate the same thing over here to this um, this right here so this uh, right next to this mount as well. Um, you can choose to maybe put only one on the back here you can put both you can put none it's up to you guys if you want to add them you can switch them up obviously if you have a bunch of vehicles in one area to kind of add a little bit more variety but it's the same uh design there and then also don't forget your wither skeleton skull on the left side here and you got your two machine guns mounted back there and the machine gun mounted in the front and overall that's going to kind of do it there for the Bushmaster. uh we're gonna go ahead and move on now to putting the camouflage on it's basically just using a mixturized pattern of uh Dark oak wood slab stairs, green stained clay, narrow brick stairs and slabs, and uh, also black wool. So nothing too major there, but uh, I will be covering that. So if you want to see how to put the camouflage on, then stay tuned. Uh, but with that, let's go ahead and move on to the uh, camouflage. All right, guys, so moving on to the final part of this tour, we're going to be putting the camouflage on. Now, the camouflage is really straightforward and just involves you breaking some blocks and replacing them. So uh, we can start off with just taking some nether brick and kind of mixing it in to do some black wool. Main thing is we don't want to do like a kind of like spotted pattern. We want to kind of have a little bit of a flow to it. So you'll see here that I'm kind of trying to create a little bit of a flow here with our nether brick um, slabs and our black wool here. Just to kind of show that the kind of camo kind of flows uh, back here and you know maybe will start to work its way up there on the side. And then right next to it, we can maybe have the green um, kind of come into play. So maybe some green that kind of comes in like this. Green kind of flows up. And make sure that if you break a block that has stone, stone buttons, tripwire hooks, anything like that on it, that you replace them because obviously it's going to look really bad if you don't replace it. So you can have something that kind of looks like that. We can maybe even have a little bit of um, you know black wool that kind of works its way up from this section here. Maybe connects up via the uh, kind of fender right there. And of course, again, you know, replace the blocks that we break. Um, one kind of typical pattern I was kind of going for is wherever I put black, I was going to put green stained clay next to it. So, uh, I can start maybe some, you know, nether brick over here on this side and maybe have it start to work its way up and then I can put green stained clay that's right next to it. So, uh, don't be afraid either to put some, uh, you know, color, color into the kind of wheel well, well right there. Don't be afraid to do that. Um, so it kind of, you know, flows up or kind of has like a little bit of a spotted look right here. Um, up here in the front, maybe we can do a little bit more with this. It looks a little bit too tan, so we can maybe throw in some green here to kind of just 
you know, break it up a little bit and give it a little bit more texture there. Uh, as we kind of continue on toward the back here, we can go in again, take, kind of take our black wool, kind of put it into play here. Maybe have it go up a little bit at a steeper slope here. And you can just see we're just kind of randomizing, trying to kind of have somewhat of an idea of what we want to do here uh, as we work our way up and slowly back. And we can work our way even over to the other side. Um, and then alongside this, we can do go ahead and put some green and some brown in. So this will kind of flow up alongside it. Obviously, we have this in the way, so we're not going to really mess with that. But we can start it back up here when we get to the top. Uh, the kind of green complementing the black. Um, and then we can kind of maybe skip this base. I kind of left these um, birch wood alone to kind of show a hatch there for, uh, you know, compartments and stuff like that. So maybe this time we can start with some green that kind of comes in and maybe actually winds up and kind of connects up with the top stripes up there. And then right here we can do the black. So we can maybe put some black in here and kind of do a similar type of thing where it kind of goes to, toward the back here. Again, I left this hatch kind of alone here so it doesn't really get affected or anything like that by any of these by any of uh, the blocks so that it looks pretty standard uniform you can tell the hatch is back there um, but yeah again you know the main thing here is just putting some blocks in trying to create some kind of a pattern um, you don't want to do like a complete pattern you do want some randomization to it to kind of give it a nicer look uh, but you also you know want to make sure that you uh, that you you know kind of keep it so that it's consistent you don't just have a spotted pattern of just some some black green black green you know like you want it kind of uh kind of kind of random i guess in a sense and you don't want your other side to look the same so you know over here on this side we have our black so we can kind of wind our black have it kind of come down and connect up to the fender over here we can have our green also do the same so it kind of comes down here uh connects up as well and maybe even flows down into this section right there uh, and then over here, uh, again, we can kind of like kind of work with this. So we already have our black kind of started here. So we can maybe put some green in. Maybe have a little bit more of a bigger splotch of green. Again, let's place our signs back. And we can even have it kind of start to turn and go this way. Maybe and connect up, up on top here. Um, so there's a lot of possibilities on how you guys can kind of, you know, camouflage it and go crazy with it. Um, this was just basically a kind of example of what you guys can do. Obviously, you don't have to do exactly what I did. You can kind of randomize it and you can kind of see here on this truck how I did it and so over here on this one so the cool thing about it is you can do different camos and you know it only takes you like maybe like five minutes to camo it and you have two trucks that are the same truck but they look a little bit different in the sense that you know the camouflage isn't exactly the same on them so it kind of makes them a little more unique and intriguing I guess um, anyways that's gonna pretty much wrap up the tutorial for the Bushmaster uh, basically uh, protected mobility vehicle. Hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you guys do end up using this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This has been thank you from a son of the build, tuning to my channel or this video if this does appear on social media sites. As always, you guys give me credit for it. You're free to use whatever projects you guys are working on. And uh, overall, I hope you guys enjoy the build. And that, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 204, and I'll see you guys next time.